Hi, in this section we are going to learn to create a simple database. So we'll create our first database in SQL Server environment. So to connect with the instance, the running instance on this machine, we need to either provide the name of server or the dot. Um, providing dot means we are going to connect with the local machine. Uh, I don't have created any um, user, so I'll just connect with my Windows authentication. Okay. Uh, clicking connect as I have clicked connect it has connected me to my servers instance right the only one instance that is running on my machine I'm connected to that and if I expand the database menu you will see I do not have any existing database created so we will create our first database over here right click on new database menu okay uh, a new dialog box will appear it will ask us for the database name okay we are providing the name demo db right it is asking for the name of files we will understand about these um, primary and uh, file groups and other file groups the log file the data file that are on but for now I am leaving everything as it is I'm not going to change anything just I'm providing the name of database okay but we have other things too let's see what they are this whenever we create a new database two files are created uh, right the one is the data file the other one is the log file data file contains all the data that we stored in our database log may be the transaction log and other things everything that is kind of related to log that sql server needs to maintain by itself okay if you scroll ahead you will notice that it's showing you the location of these files and file names uh, place is left blank i'm not going to write anything over here i can add more files but i will not add any file right now you can see options tab here and file groups tab here we are not going to change anything just i have provided the name of database and clicking ok right as i'm um, i have left everything as it is just for just to make this tutorial easy for now that how we can create our first database simply by just providing the name in sql server okay as you can see your database has just been created over here uh, if this database does not appear here you can give it a refresh uh, on databases right but we already have this database appeared over here uh, expand the menu of this database we'll create the tables and views by going into these options but right now this is a blank database that we have created in this section and we haven't changed anything right now okay let's take the properties by clicking uh, by right clicking on, on database name uh, and click properties okay now see the files you can see your general properties right general tab is selected by default you can see the properties of this newly created uh, database if i go into files tab you will notice the same uh, files option that we left unchanged at the time of creation and we did not provide the name of file but here the default name is appearing this is the same name as our database name, right? Demo DB, demo DB dot MDF and demo DB underscore log dot LDF. So these are the two files uh, which are created by default with our with each database first time, right? You can definitely change the name of these files, the location. You can change the location. You can change other settings, uh, but for this section for, uh, to learn the basics we are not going to change anything so this is the data file this is the log file you just need to remember for this section that whenever you create a database by just providing the name in SQL Server new database dialog box two files are minimum created right unless you have made any configuration change in your settings that we haven't done as it is a new installation that you have just seen okay so that's it uh, okay 
one more thing you can just explore other options by yourself uh, for your understanding we will definitely cover cover all of them in detail later on okay um, let's have a walkthrough from all sections okay so that's it for this tutorial thank you for being with me